The pap test, or pap smear, is a test that seeks to detect cervical cancer as well as other cervical diseases. The cervix is the narrow lower part of the uterus and is located between the bladder and the rectum. If during this test the presence of abnormal cells is located, the specialist will begin treatment immediately since these could become cervical cancer if they are not treated in time. To begin the procedure, the specialist will lubricate an instrument called speculum and carefully insert it into the vagina. The speculum can be made of metal or plastic and once inside, the doctor will open it to separate the walls and expose the cervix. Once this is done, the sampling will begin with the help of an air spatula. The doctor will make a 360 degree turn on the endocervix, which is the opening of the cervix that leads to the uterus, and is covered with glandular cells. With this turn of the air spatula, the doctor will be able to extract the necessary samples for his study, which will be extended on a small box called a laboratory slide, which is a transparent plate. Following this, a second sample will be taken from the patient. Here, the doctor will introduce a cervical brush into the orifice of her endocervical canal, making a 360-degree turn to obtain as many cells as possible from her cervix. These cells will also be placed on the slide, but at a certain distance from the first sample. Finally, the doctor will remove the vaginal speculum, releasing the pressure on the hinge that was keeping the walls of the cervix firm and apart. The samples will then be examined in a laboratory under a microscope to see if any of them are abnormal. Taking this test takes 10 to 20 minutes and the results are usually delivered in one to three weeks. The pap smear should be done every year if the results are normal. However, if they show any abnormality, the specialist will tell the patient the exact time in which the test should be done again. To get a pap test, the patient must not having a menstrual period, not having intercourse in the last 48 hours, not having applied any vaginal medical treatment, either suppositories or creams. This test is not painful and should be done by all women over the age of 20, as well as those under this age who have already been intimate with their partner. In the case of women who have not yet started a sexual life, the test will be carried out with a special instrument. 